welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Daima coming to you live from rainy Puerto Rico. So if you hear the raindrops in the background, we're having a beautiful, gloomy, cloudy, raining day over here, which believe it or not is a blessing because it's been hot. <laughs> we're already starting to get into our warm weather and the warm weather over here is no joke with the humidity. So I will take the rain. I love it. I love the cloudiness. I'm at home. I don't have to go nowhere. I'm on vacation. It's my birthday month. Shout out to all the Aries and Tauruses out there. So I'm chill. As long as I don't have to go anywhere, I love the rain. So yeah, so we got our rain. We might have our lovely co-star Jorge and the rooster in the background. Who knows? I'm not sure if he's willing to brave getting wet to crow <laughs> or whatnot. Um, we'll see. He might, he might stop by and say a little hello to you guys. So if you like what you see, if you want to see more content, if you enjoy hearing Jorge with his crows in the background, saying hi to y'all in the rain and all the under, all the other wonderful sounds that we have here from Puerto Rico, living on the tropical island. It's like living in a big farm, urban setting, mind you guys, urban setting in the city. We got chickens crossing the road to get to the other side, right? <laughs> so... If you like what you see don't forget to subscribe like comment down below and today we have for you i have for you guys some i want to show you guys some cool things that i've been working on your girl's been doing did a thing you know i worked on a little something something and we're gonna do some letter books which i got right over here so I'm really into the whole Disney colorful nostalgic era. I really love and I got a lot of in inspiration from Donna Power by Creativity. You should check her out. She has a YouTube page, a dot com by the same name and an Etsy. She's wonderful. All of her challenges and stuff that she saves with um, our Disney theme. Another one that does really great Disney theme challenges is, um, oh, I believe her name is Fairy Rose cottage if i'm not mistaken on etsy i know that on youtube she is loving life at 60 ish she does a lot of great disney themed challenges another shop that you should check out is glow budgets she also is a ding a disney geek like all of us <laughs> and she has a lot of great challenges and stuff that she makes herself she has a ko-fi shop and she also buys from um a lot of the other budgeters online and supports some and uses them too in her videos check her out glow budgets is amazing she is a bomb hey friend hola amiga and so i was inspired by all those lovely ladies and all the things that they've been doing and i started to do my own little stuff you know bring it breaking out the canva and getting those creative juices flowing so i created a few little things i want to show you guys so i'm a halloween freak I love Halloween. I love spooky season. I love the fall. And Puerto Rico, technically, we don't really like get fall <laughs> because there's no leaves that fall down. It's a tropical island. So it's just basically we go from scorching hot to a little bit more um, cooler climate. <laughs> That's like our fall. <laughs> but it's still like 80 something degrees outside. So, you know. <laughs> It is what it is, but I still love it. I remember when I used to live in the States that I love seeing like the change in the seasons and the trees and all that kind of stuff. So spooky season for me should be all the time, all year long. I'm going to try to embody the essence of the spooky cute vibes. I have my spooky cute binder, which I'm going to start saving with now soon. And I also decided to make a little stitch challenge. It's called 31 Weeks of stitch -o -ween. Hope you guys could see this. It's so cute. And it's little it's the little um stitchy man with all his different costum um costumes of the different characters of the movies. Look, there's even a I think he's scroll, skull, scroll, crawl, crawl, right? Crawl. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So yeah. So I made that. And I have eventually the plan is to shut up um set up a shop. I haven't set up one yet. I want to do a shop and I also want to get some freebies to you guys, which by the way, shout out to all the new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you know, all the people that all are that comment frequently like glow budgets. Um, um, ah, Sita, what's her, I'm going to link her name down below and I know it's Sita. 
um irene from boop and budgets check her out she's great she does she's doing a fabulous version of the 100 envelope challenge and doing it in five dollar increments so she is a rock star and um doing that challenge so check her out she's really great so a shout out to all of you that always comment thank you so much love you guys thank you for all the support and all the new ones don't be shy don't be afraid to uh, comment down below hey i love talking what can i say <laughs> we always gonna have something to talk about so i love and appreciate all your guys comments and reaching out and if you don't feel comfortable commenting hey just happy with a, a like and a subscribe if you feel so inclined to so yeah here's my little 31 weeks of stitch wing that's about a little less than 30 weeks or so to till halloween and but i'm still gonna you know attempt it. i'm gonna bring it up to date and i feel like you could do this at any time you could actually do 31 days if you want to right just start off here and this is exact this is the exact date plate um day placements of that month of october this month so this will be from sunday through saturday so october falls on a on a thursday right um, not october oh my god halloween falls on a thursday so you could do it if you wanted to do just for the whole month, just like a calendar or however you want. So I have these two versions. I also have an envelope challenge version of 31 envelopes. So the idea is to, once I get to, I'm um, going back to the original thing I was going to say. Once I get to 100 subscribers, I want to give some stuff away for freebies. So this might be one of them. If I get to 100 subscribers, I might give away the low income version, which is this one. I have a roll and save and I have the traditional version. And mi amiga Glow, si estás viendo esto y deseas de esto, yo sé que te va a encantar tenerlo. <laughs> en confianza, te envío una, okay? All right. That was just a little shout out in Spanish to my friend Glow. Letting her know she, she loves a little blue stitch man. So if she wants a little copy, hey, we're here for it. So then I also did a record, Ralph, of Wreck the Deck. And I wish my um, my printer could do this justice, guys. Oh, I need to get to get my um, color ink updated, but I really wanted to show you a little bit. I'll probably um, put in a little picture on the side of what it's supposed to look like in its full color. Because they came out, I think they all came out like pretty nice, especially this one. He looks so cute with the correct coloring and everything like that. Because here he's like a little oogie boogie and all that kind of stuff. I love this one if I'm getting electrocuted. <laughs> That's like so him. <laughs> that he would do some crazy stuff like that. So yeah, so I did a record Ralph because I love record Ralph. I just I love that movie. I'm telling you, it's one of my favorite new Disney movies. I call I call new Disney, you know, anything that um was made after the early two thousands or so. For me before that, between like the mid eighties until the late nineties, for me that's the golden Disney era. I think they also refer to it as that and of course the classic disney era is anything before the you know the 80s and um and and further um before so of like the do new disney area era i love wreck it ralph i think it was just it's just so dope um so i did like a wreck the debt and i got this like inspiration of doing like the brick wall because obviously he's breaking a brick wall right in the in the movies and stuff like that that's like part of his game so I figure like the idea of doing the brick wall, kind of like um, how, if you haven't seen Donna Power by Creativity, she has a great version of doing, using a brick wall to save called um, Roger Rabbit. And it's, it's really great. You have to see it. I have it in um, some of my videos that I've saved with it. I'm actually saving 500 with it now. She has a few versions of it. So check it out if you like that idea of like coloring it in. So I did this, direct the debt. This one doesn't save, I don't believe, exactly 500. I'm not exactly sure how much it saves, and I'm not going to let you guys know. Or I'm not going to figure it out either myself because I wanted to be surprised. And I feel like you guys would enjoy being a surprise a little bit more, too. It will save close to 500, though. That, that I'm sure. And then, Dalmatian. Dalmatian is one of my favorite classic Disney movies growing up. So I did a 52 Puppies Challenge. And I have a roll and save version. I also have a typical 52 envelope version that I did. And I also have a low income version of this. So this is like really cute. And all of these puppies are different, y'all. Most of them are like really different. I think it was just so dope. And we got like 
little little Miss Corella in the in the middle trying to get her stuff. <laughs> so this is fun. You roll in save and you find and you save ten when you find the white puppy. Ooh, you gotta look for that. So that's gonna be fun to do. Then I have a. Of course, you can't have Dalmatians without doing a hundred and one Dalmatian envelope challenge. So. I did the same thing as the 52 envelopes, but 101 puppies challenge, which is like my spin and my version on 101 Dalmatians. I'm not sure if somebody's already tried this. If they have, kudos to you. If not, hey, kudos to me for coming up with it. I thought it was a pretty cool idea to use the puppies because they're 101. So we just save one extra envelope. Why not? So this one is a roll and save version. I also did a low income and the traditional um, envelope version. And this one comes in two pages. I like the idea of doing it in two pages just so that you could feel the accomplishment of it not being too daunting of having to wait the whole hundred envelopes before you're able to like feel like you accomplish and finish something. You know how it is? Like I love the whole delay gratification, but after a while you're kind of like, like, damn, I'm like, I want to finish. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm finished something, you know? So I did the two pages and that and, and one challenge, you could have basically two challenges in one. You could just do the 52 envelope if you want. And then let's say you didn't feel like doing the rest and you could just do the rest some other time or you could, and you could um, do them both together at your own pace, you know, make it work for you. So I thought this was really cute. And then I got the little sidekicks here for her. So we got Cruella, of course. As I said, I wish the my printer did this justice, but this is pretty cool. So yeah, that's the three things, the three larger challenges that, four larger challenges that I've made. And as I said, eventually I would like to start a, most likely a Ko-Fi shop and give out some challenges as freebies. So we're just waiting for all that kind of stuff to go, to go through and get organized, but I got you guys covered want y'all to have fun also saving and so many of you lovely people on in the budgeting community give us i just lost my paper clip y'all give us a lot of nifting cool freebies so i want to get back all right but today yep. <laughs> we are gonna be doing i also did my own little version of letterbooks guys <laughs> so yeah so donna power by creativity has a great version of letterbooks where she uses the disney characters and i also got inspired by her and i did my version of magical letterbooks with the disney characters that i most like and i enjoy um and i also did it in a semi-low income version which is basically um instead of having to save so I believe uh, I believe her versions are between eighty dollars per letter and a hundred dollars per letter or so. And like the same thing as with the other challenges, I was finding it hard for me to stay motivated because it seemed it was like really daunting. The idea of having to save twelve times a hundred dollars, twelve times eighty dollars, which is a great amount, but it, it's going to take me a long time to be able to do that because I'm like twelve hundred dollars right um between i don't know a thousand or something twelve twelve hundred dollars right so i did a a, sh a smaller version of instead of um having to save 80 or 100 per letter i'm gonna save 35 so that will total up to 420 which is still a great amount and i definitely want to try to do it the traditional way of saving the exact letter so i'm going to try to save the exact letter as much as i can for each one if i find that it's kind of hard to get you know the variety then maybe i'll just put whatever in it that's how donna does it donna um just saves dollars whatever type of dollars she has in the different challenges and that's also a fun great way to do it uh but i have no rush so i'm just going to give myself literally the year or so to try to finish this the way you know it, it's quote unquote intended so I did this, I created that little dashboard, and then we have our start, finish, and total. So we're gonna do this today. I started, um, I've been collecting them for a while, 
for about like the past month or so. So I have a few in here. I haven't filled out the, the trackers yet. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I got some new ones that I found that I basically usurped. <laughs> it stole from my mama when she came back on her vacation from Cali. I was like, Ma, let me see what selection of dollar bills you got. <laughs> Because they, they get a different, you know, circulation over there in the States that we do here in Puerto Rico. Like, over here in Puerto Rico, all I get is eyes. I get so many eyes. But I haven't seen that one J, guys. Not one J. All right. So, I got that. And then I made a little overall track of it. So, every time we complete one of the different characters, um, the different letters, so we could put it there. And here it is. We got Ariel. We got Belle. I wish my printer did it just as. We got our sweet Miss Coco. And of course, Dory. Shout out to all the Dory minds out there like me. We are a special breed of people. <laughs> Amber. I love Amber. If you haven't seen Elemental, it's an excellent, excellent, excellent movie. Fairy Godmother. Georgette. Miss Georgette from Oliver's and Company, played by Beth Midler, if I'm not mistaken love georgette helen from the incredibles aka elastigirl isabella from encanto which is one of my favorite ones favorite movies we got miss joy or sweet joy from inside out kala oh nurturing miss kala from tarzan wonderful out of all the disney movies i would say that tarzan of course because it, it got phil collins but tarzan has like the best soundtrack ever Phil Collins, guys, come on. And our cute little Lilo is gonna end up. It's gonna end the the challenge there. Look at that sweet little Lilo there. So, because we're gonna be working on today officially in this video, we're gonna fill out our trackers, count out our bucks, and see how far we've gone. We've gotten, and we have some more over here that we're gonna fill. That we're gonna put in there. So I'm trying to collect like the best looking ones. However, there's some of them like the seeds that I don't get a lot of seeds here. So sometimes I got to take the ugly ones. Not the ugly ones, but the not so... The, the well-spent ones. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so let's start off with our day. Today is... I'm recording this on a Tuesday. Hope you guys are having a happy week, by the way. Yesterday, as I'm recording, this was the eclipse. Hope you guys had a good time during the eclipse. I had an interesting eclipse experience. And I'm saying just that nothing, you know, big happened. It was a nice experience, to be honest. I, I feel like it was really chill. I felt really good that day. So I'm glad that everything went well. I know there was a lot of hysteria around it. I'm just glad that everything worked out well and people could be a little bit more calmer now and feel good about it. All right, so today is, yesterday was the 8th, so it's the 9th, so we're starting April. Ninth, 2024. All right. Perfect. Isn't he so cute, my little Jackie? Love my little Jackie. Got this little chip. I got this on the from the gas station it was like a dollar or something <laughs> so i grabbed the whole bunch i grabbed i grabbed him and i grabbed all these and i was like it's, <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> oh, we'd be a trip when we'd be seeing something we like we just want to get in in all the colors all right so we're not going to fill this out yet because we haven't finished any and let's start with a i don't have any new ones to put in for miss ariel However, we have saved so far one, two, three, four, five, six of them. All right, so let's color in. We're going to use blue. Let's color in six A's. Quickly as possible. I am a lefty, so I'm sorry if I am covering it. So, yeah, I feel like this is like an awesome idea. I don't know who the heck came up with the idea of hunting down the letter bucks for saving, but it is awesome. So fun. And it's a little simple way to do it that everything adds up. Let me not get 
kind of like reinventing my name here that I forget what I'm doing when I'm talking and then I overcolor. <laughs> She's great too. Um, check her out, YouTube. Reinventing Renee. She has an Etsy shop also. I think it's the Budget Nerd on her Etsy shop. It's Nerd something. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, as I said, each little tracker will save us 35 when we're finished. So, that's a pretty cool amount. All right. Miss Ariel is done making progress. Bees. I've gotten a lot of bees. I actually have a few bees in my other challenges that I haven't put in here just because I need some dollars to save with, which I'll buy back then at a later date and we'll definitely be able to finish this pretty quickly. So for now, for Belle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dollars in Miss Belle. Let's do yellow for her. Oh, there's seven per row. Let me do it like this because I don't want to overcolor and forget. Alrighty, team. So, what about you guys? Do you guys like the sound of rain? I love the sound of rain. I love the smell of rain. I love all of it except having to be outside. <laughs> Like, I hate having to drive in the rain, guys. Oh, I really do not like it. I detest it. All right, Miss Bell. And for Coco, we do have a nice new one for Miss Coco. This sweet Coco. So we have with this one, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right, Miss Coco, let's get you going. Let's do Pinky for Miss Coco. So we have five, right? From here back. I'm telling you, I'm really loving, like I said, I'm really digging all the new Disney movies. I feel like they're doing a fabulous job with having such diversity in different cultures and stories and everything like that. It's really fun. It's really, really fun. Dory gets a new dollar. Make them holla. It's Dory. One, two, three, four, five, six. She has six dollars. We're gonna do her blue, of course, of course. I'm telling y'all, that whole thing with the Dory brain is like so real. I be at work sometimes. I work in a casino. And <laughs> sometimes the clients be like asking me about something that just happened a few, <laughs> a few seconds, not even minutes ago, just like a few seconds um, that pertains to like the table games. And I'm like, hey, if it's been more than three or, <laughs> three or, three or five seconds, I'm like a goldfish. I be forget it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, hey, what can I say? One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn it. I missed one. Okay. Dory, we owe you a dollar. You see? The coloring and talking will get you every time. But yeah, I'm like, hey, if it's been more than three seconds, I got the memory of a goldfish. You're going to have to ask somebody else. <laughs> All right. Sweet Ember has... So yeah, this movie is awesome too. Two, three, four, five, six also. A lot of them have six, that's pretty cool. Okay, let me do it like this, that way I don't over. So yeah, all these new Disney movies have like great messages that pertains to like society and day-to-day -day life. I really love it. So fun. Okay. 
Got six for Miss Ember there. And the lovely fairy godmother has, I think I also get a lot of Fs over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're gonna do a whole row for her. And let's do it blue. See all this rain? Not me, with the sniffles. I love it though, I ain't going plain. As neatly as we possibly can, which is not going to be that neat, to be honest. Okay. Fairy Godmother is done. Do you guys have a favorite movie? What's your favorite Disney movie? Mine is, I would have to say, growing up, it was The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast, of course. The classics. My favorite new Disney movie would have to be, as I said, Wreck-It Ralph, and I really love Encanto. I don't know, I like so many of them. Hunchback of Notre Dame was also really great back in the day, Pocahontas, ugh. I don't know, I, I like them all. So George Gag on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. George Jet is doing really well, and I have a lot more of those G's in my other challenges, which I will buy back and she'll be good to go. So we said she had 10, so let me start from here so I don't go over. So Georgette is from Oliver and Company. That's a great movie too, it was really fun. And for me, anything that Miss M is in, Miss Bette Miller, is going to be fabulous. I love her. She's one of my favorite actresses of all time. And we are up to H. Miss Ellen's not getting anything new, but she does have a lot in here. And I have more to then buy back for her also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put the crispy ones up front. So we're gonna do 10 for her as well. Let's do her in blue. I'll make it, if anything, I'll make it pretty off camera. I don't want the video to be too long for you guys. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. I painted myself. So we're up to the eyes. For eyes, I don't have any because eyes are the main ones that I'm using to save with over here because I have so many of them. So that would be Miss Isabel J's. I have not seen that one J, not even a, a scraggly, bent up, faded one. I just want to see at least one so that I know that they exist. Okay, Miss Calla, the one who raised baby Tarzan. You see, I'm having to take these scraggly ones because I don't get a lot of K's either. So we got this one. Miss Calla has. One, two, three, four. Ooh, five with that last one. Pretty good. Not too bad. Um, let's do her with yellow. And she got yellow flowers. So five. So we got one. Oops. Two. Three. Four. And five. 
fabulous. And our last one is Little Miss Lilo. Lilo. Mistaken. And she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay. You get a whole roll there, girl. Let's go. Let's do it pink. We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven dollar. Seven L dollar. Perfect. All right, guys. I'll be back in a quick second. Let me just finish this. Be back in a minute. I have to go get something. All right, be back in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm back. So yeah, that will be the end of the video. We finished our lovely magical letter box. We made some head away. Look at that. <laughs> this one don't count. I messed up Dory, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dory brain on the Dory challenge. Seems like Helen and Miss Georgette are winning. Let's pray for me guys. Pray for me that I get a J. <laughs> I want to finally, I just want to hold the J and see that so I know that they're real. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. Happy with that. I think it came out wonderful. This is also something that I will have most likely linked in my shop when I get it up. Or it might even be a freebie. We never know. Maybe a version of this might be a freebie. Um, but yeah, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being here and sharing with me uh, my savings. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment down below. I would love to know what your favorite challenge themes are. If you like Disney challenges, if you like regular aesthetic ones, um, kawaii looking ones, cutesy ones, or, or just plain ones that have the number that you just scratch off and, you know, write off and save. Hey, I love to know what you guys enjoy. And I'm gonna close it out with a self-care card. I always like to use these to like help set the tone a little bit after a saving sesh. These are really cool. These are just regular, simple affirmation cards. Self-care, because I firmly believe that financial care is self-care. 